What's up, family? It's your girl, Smart Sister, here, and welcome to the Smart Sister Show. And today is my ratchet rant, and I'm talking about that little prick written house. Okay, now I entitled this show as From Karen to Kyle, White Folks Tears. Now we already know white folks can get away with any damn thing. If you look at what's going on now, they just can't quite seem to uh, e convict anybody associated with Trump. They can't quite find everybody and convict everybody that was uh, in the insurrection, which <laughs> we know that is a joke. Um, the people skipping out on subpoenas, people, white people, getting away with putting shit all over the uh, floors and the curtains and uh, doing everything. As y'all can see, as most white people are starting to see, is that uh, you get away with whatever you want to get away with. Okay? You don't... White supremacy is always going to uh, protect itself by any means necessary. So let's just go ahead and be uh, for real about all this bullshit going on. And so many white people are so shocked and appalled. Well, this is the shit we've been putting up with for centuries now. Okay? You're starting to see your own hypocrisy and bullshit. That's basically what's happening. And you still... You still let it go. I was listening to a, a so-called progressive talk show host um, yesterday, and she said about Little Rittenhouse that um, despite all of the crap he did, killing people, uh, bringing a, going to the bar uh, with his mama after he killed some folks, and it was legal because in Wisconsin, as long as you're with a parent, you could go to a bar. Um, she was saying how, you know, he was wrong and this, that, and the, uh, and the third. However, it was the adults around him that, that really let him down. You know, his parents, his, his, um, you know, the groups that he hung with, whatever, still finding an excuse for this little asshole. Now, uh, she tried to make a point and it was a white female and I won't even say who it is because I don't want to get fucking sued myself. But um, make an excuse for somebody that's a little murderous, satanic fucking asshole that actually killed white folks. Now, y'all know <laughs> if we do anything like that. You know, we can kill each other. That's fine. But, you know, y'all already know if we kill somebody white, what's going to happen. But this little boy, they coming up with uh, damn excuses. I've never seen it to fail. I went to school in Wisconsin where this all took place. Um, and I remember when Jeffrey Dahmer, I lived around the corner from Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, when he killed folks. And think about it, when when they caught him, it was like, oh, he was such a nice little boy. You know, they talked to their kindergarten teacher and all this old bullshit when they are some crazy ass white folks. <clears throat> it never ceases to amaze me how to what lengths uh, white supremacy will go to to protect itself. I mean, I guess that's how uh, they got that way. But come on now, this little asshole is a murderous little trick that needs to have, uh, be put under jail. But guess what? You know, and I know his ass is going to get off. He sat up there and got a fucking Academy Award, uh, blubbering and it wasn't no, not, not one tear to be found. Face wasn't wet nowhere. Okay, he's doing this whole act. All that time he wasn't in jail with his lawyer. He was sitting his ass there practicing all this bullshit. You and I both know it. And for y'all's information, the prosecutor in this case was the same prosecutor that let the cops off that shot uh, Mr. Blake that caused the so-called uprising uh, that Rittenhouse went to uh, for. 
Okay, so the man that let the cops off that shot this brother and paralyzed him is the same man that's supposedly going to um, um, prosecute Rittenhouse. Really? And then you got the damn judge uh, phone going off and it's, it's, it's President Trump's theme song. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, as, as what's his name says, uh, you can't make this shit up. You really can't. Okay. Here we go. You know, it's just a circle fuck between all of them, you know, and I just don't even know, uh, <laughs> where they think it's going to go, where y'all think. Let, let me put it this way. I don't know where black folks think it's going to go. We already know. His ass is going to get off or they're going to call a mistrial and then the little bastard won't have to uh, go through it at all anyway because they don't want any double jeopardy or whatever. So they got all this shit already planned out probably and uh, like the pandemic and uh, you know, here we go. Here we go. Now you got a brother here paralyzed because of these damn cops that got off is uh, prosecuting this little crazy ass little boy who is gonna get off. Y'all already know if if you got uh, progressive so-called commentators making comments saying, oh, he's wrong, but the system let him down. I wanna go to a trial where they say, well, this little young black gangbanger, um, he wasn't responsible for his actions because he came from a broken home and due to intergenerational trauma of black people for the last 300 years, he's really not uh, totally responsible. Probably, you know, we should look at the adults in his life and maybe his crackhead mother and uh, his absent father Father really had an impact on him as a child so therefore he developed all these violent tendencies so um your honor could we just have some leniency um on this guy because of all these uh circumstances he had no control over really Oh, and the white judge is going to say, you know, I agree. I agree. You know, and the brother is sitting up there crying. Okay, everybody, let's take a recess for a moment and uh, let him get himself together and then we'll resume. Now, y'all know that's a bunch of bullshit. Ain't nobody black ever, 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 ever got a fucking excuse like that. I don't care what we do. I don't care if you're three years old. They're going to throw the book at you and you're going to be under a jail somewhere. But white folks, literally Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, can eat people, can drug people, can rape people. Oh, and he's gay. Oh, I wonder what the alphabet people would have said now when you got a, 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 a another gay serial killer, cause there have been several, okay? But um, I really would have loved how, uh, to see how they would have covered that now. You know, it's just bullshit. It's just so much of it. It's so thick. We all got to wear some galoshes up to our waist to be able to walk through and trudge through all of the bullshit that's going on right now. And once again, black people, what I'm saying to you is what are we going to do? Okay, really? We don't have no skin in the game. I, the way I look at it with this red and house, uh, guy, because, uh, he killed white folks and I'm sorry. We can all talk about how horrible and death and all this kind of shit, but white folks going to take care of themselves. Or if those had to be sacrifices made for the, uh, damn clan that in proud boys that he was a part of, oh, well, white supremacy may say, well, you know, they were negligible. You know, that was a little collateral damage. So, you know, we're really not that worried about it. Okay. And then the little bastard will get off or get very little time and he can go blubber again. And then that's the end of that. Okay. So I'm not that worried about it. I'm thinking we need to do more for that brother. We haven't even heard from, I might do some research and try to find out how he's doing 
uh, paralyzed. Now we should have tore the shit up when he got paralyzed. Okay. But here, here we go. The shit happens so much. Half of the time we're so, uh, numb till it doesn't even make sense, but we need to look that brother up and find out how we could help him, his family, and really what's going on in that city. Because it's white as hell. I went to Marquette in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, honey. So I've been around a lot of those little cities in Wisconsin. And half of the white folks there, uh, cheese-making asses, had never even seen black folks before. Back a million years when I was in school. But uh, here we go again. So Karen can cry and get off with stuff. Because when white people see a white woman crying uh even in victoria's secret they're gonna just their hearts are gonna go out to her because she was in tears because a black woman really oh and um okay so now kyle whose mama brought him up there who got a damn uh rifle who just shot folks talking about it was self-defense because um you know they tried to take the gun well i guess so and who the fuck are you to go up to some uh march and try to be the popo and then they give him water and they're you know yucking it up and you know here we go okay this shit is so rotten to the core i'm telling y'all i i am really considering uh getting the fuck up out of here because it's just ridiculous and see like i said this is shit black people have been dealing with forever forever we see you we see you and all the shit that you've done so ain't nothing new here for us to see been through it lived through it suffered from this bullshit so my thing is like i said we just gotta um um you know get the hell up out of here that's all that's all that's all we need to leave them alone we need to get our own shit like i keep saying leave them the hell alone they wouldn't know what to do if they couldn't oppress us i i really wonder and then like i said take all our shit with us and what would they have left because basically you wouldn't have no damn country because without centuries of free labor you wouldn't have got the jump on the rest of the world um, in terms of money and industry and every damn thing else. We help build this bitch. So, okay, let's just keep an eye on uh, what's going on. But I bet you uh, uh, $50, his ass is going to get off. Y'all watch and see what I say.